welcome back to the channel and welcome to Turn Up Boy Rob the Bank. The sequel to Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Invasion. A game that I absolutely loved playing, but won't be playing again in this video. If you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll go back through it again. But for this video, we're just going to play through this one. It's worth mentioning as well, dedicated to toast the Queen of Fourth Fat Ass. <laughs> Two days after killing a god. One day after a civil war that broke out as a result. <clears throat> hey, is this a bad time? I got a job for you, a big one. Come meet me if you want the deeds. Where am I? My general direction is right. Yes. Just walk right. Click. Yeah, I, I probably will go back through this game. Like, the first one. Because honestly, absolutely amazing game. I love the first one. I love his little walk. Oh, I know he fell over. Up on your feet, turnip head. We've got business to discuss. <clears throat> You're probably wondering why I called you here. The turnip chinos, owned by your father, Don, and the pickled gang have been fighting forever. I don't predict... I don't break tradition easy, and I can see in your beady, unchanging eyes that you don't trust me. Just hear me out. Turnip head, ever since you defeated that egomaniac Mayor Onion, Veggie Bill has fallen to ruin. There's a war in fighting tax fraud. There's only one thing to do at a time like this, and that's to use this opportunity to make money. Your resume of killing a god and arguably the bravest thing you've done, commit tax invasion. Makes you the perfect turnip for the job. We need your fighting skills on this one if we're going to rob the biggest bank in the world. What do you say, kid? Family, tradition, who cares about that nonsense? Let's just make that bag and get rich, you know? What do you say? Do you want to follow in your father's footsteps? Take a job you didn't even ask for? Or do you want to make a name for yourself, turnip head? I know what I would do. Next morning. <clears throat> All right, turnip head. Robbing a bank is serious business. I'm glad you decided to work with the pickled gang, but I run a tight ship here, so I ain't gonna tolerate no incompetence. We gotta train you up proper, or we're gonna all end up sleeping with the fishes. So learn to use them stuggy leg of stubby legs of yours, and come talk to me when you're ready to shape up, cabbage. <sighs> So I figured now would be the best time to mention... Oh, I'm gonna turn the music down. Now would be the best time to mention... I'm gonna try and give the characters voices now. I'm gonna try and stick as best as I can with the voices. That I might mash them up accidentally, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll keep it to 30, I guess. I can't believe after all these years we're working with a turn of a chino, the son of the Don, no less. You better keep yourself on your toes, we're watching ya. Hi, turn of boy. Surprised to see me here? Yeah, did a teeny rub me into this. He's given me way better funding than Mayor Onion was. Somehow a scientist's role is working for the mob. Haha, <laughs> haha, ugh. <laughs> Raphael part robo now. It comes with perks. Raphael now have portable gym made from own robo bones. Train hard, turn up boy. 
Or turnip, sorry. You will need it. You want to know how to extract some dough from the locals? You gotta walk up to these dummies and shake them down. Make them rain their riches. Okay. Give me all your money! <laughs> Give me your money! Give it to me! Word on the street is that twin two shoved a piece in a dummy. Go beat the crap out of it and grab it. Come here! Ooh, we got a gun. You gotta get used to your full kit, Turnip Head. Get a feel for switching up your weapons. You may need to switch it up on the fly while we're in. There. You remember how you landed on your face last night? You know, you, how you tripped and ate dirt like a sap. It might come in handy when dodging the fuzz's bullets and getting past them lasers. We gotta test you on it, though. Twin, two, hit the lasers! Oh no, that poor little dummy. Yeah. You did great, Tamashi. Tripping through those lasers like a pro. What do you think the botanical bank is gonna rob itself? Forget about it, get in the truck. We got work to do. God, I'm gonna need like a drink for this. <laughs> Doing all these voices. What's this? A turnip with a gun? Daring to break into my beautiful establishment on this fine day? Ah, not just any turnip. The son of the old Don, Turnipacino in the flesh. I see you're trying to live up to that fool's legacy. I wonder what he would think about you working with that low-life pickle. It's cute that you think you can waltz in here and mess with me and my crew. You've got gumption, I'll give you that, but that ain't gonna hold up in here. I've got the fuzz wrapped around my little garlic chin here. It's just gotta hit one button to make the call. What's this? You've jammed the airwaves. You're in a world of hurt now, Turnip. You better be ready when that jammer timer goes off. The fuzz will be swarming when that timer beeps its last bop. Remember my name, Turnip. Stinky, the bank manager. That's gonna put you behind bars. Now make like a banana and get out of here. Alright. All right, turnip head. We only have so much time, so get as deep into that bank as vegetably possible, Kabish. <clears throat> Give me all your money! Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Money! <laughs> Ooh, I got a phone. The intel I've gathered says that Stinky has allowed these artisans in here to spruce up the place. Us food folks seem to be getting through our reanacence era. The old world did as well. So exciting. Oh, you got a gun too, huh? Huh? Boom! It did it, boy. Smash this bunk up. We're watching you. I remember you from the first game. I had a friend once. Anyways, I'm a tough nut to crack boy, but the war has left me a shell of the man I used to be. You look familiar. Do you remember which side you were on? Pretty sure I remember being the train driver. And the f oh no. Hello, oh, this painting? Yes, it's of a famous streamer. Her name is Slate Queen 32. Wait, you know her? She commissioned me for this painting. She's going to have it in her background for her stream setup. I'm a huge simp. I will say though, she's been a little quiet ever since I started finalizing the design. Do you think you could talk to her about payment? I'm just a little nervous, and you know, her so it may be easier for you to do it if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much, you're a lifesaver. I remember her. What's this? Money! Give me all your money! <laughs> oh. 
Oi, easy there, robber. I'm standing here. Oh, you think you can just waltz around here all willy nilly, huh? Old Stinky wanted me to put in a new wall, but all we had were these wimpy statues. I ain't moving them, so if you're trying to get through, you gotta break them good. Thing you don't got a pickaxe. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe, do I? I'll have you know. I will have a pickaxe. Just you wait. Oh god, stuck. This year is where we're expanding the bank. Stinky wants a ton of new space to hoard his treasure. There's a loitering hooligan, hooligan over there. Hooligan acorn over there. We gotta tell him to hit the road. Oh, but he's so cute though, just standing there. Oh no. How do you like my property? I think it's very nice and cozy. It is cozy, you look so cute. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So admittedly, my, my impressions might change. Hi, Tenet boy. I've been studying the floor plans of the bottom of the bank and I've learned that these elevators are special. See, those elevators lead to completely random rooms. It seems like the bank's security system is wired to swap out whenever someone breaks in. I think this means that we're going to have to rob this place several times to get the full picture, so grab what you need and escape in the truck to get this place to reshuffle. I used to be a kick flipping reckless young individual like yourself. Now I stand here protecting these elevators with my life. That's what I'm trying to do. I travel in tourism as well. Come back to me if you want little facts about these rooms. Hey, turn up head. Based on our intel, you can't trip over unstable blue lasers. There has to be a circuit box you could break to shut them off. Yeah, before I was like in interrupted by um the avocado woman. <clears throat> My voice impressions probably will change because it's hard to remember <laughs> what I'm saying. Yep. 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 Ooh, money. Oh yeah, chuck kill. Oh yeah, you got it. Hmm, tenor boy. Come to Rubo Roids for upgrade. I didn't realize it was a robot. <gasps> You're so cute. I heard the electricity had a leak, so I came to check on it. Hmm, that's weird. I haven't seen a single drop of electricity come from that second box. Now we can see what beyond what's beyond those unstable blue lasers. This seems easy. Maybe too easy. Step on a turnip head. Well, I kind of like comforts now, so you know. Turn up here, we gotta scram back to the truck. You got a boss? Oh god. E Drat, I knew this wouldn't be easy. We've gotta blow the vault of smithereens. We may need to express order some C4 on the dark web. Order it when you get back to the warehouse. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Just dodge and weave, dodge and weave. No! <laughs> I refuse to die. See ya. <gasps> He's so happy. Alright, rookie, let me give you the lowdown. Come on over here. Oh, he's sleeping. That's so cute. God, I wish I picked a better voice for the pickle. Because it is, like, proper breaking my voice. You pulling in rookie numbers, rookie. We've got to sweep every inch of this bag. Been stuck in that pickle jar as long as we had been really changes your perspective on things, Turnip Head. 
Will it revive your lesson? The lesson being sometimes you need to steal to get what you want. This is the last big job, Turnip Head. Stinky has the vaults of all vaults somewhere in the botanical bag. We have to find the mysterious mother load to make this whole thing worth it to be able to put all of this behind us. Go deeper and see what you can find. <coughs> Hi, Turnip Boy. Come here for a second. I got something that should come in handy. You got something for me? Oh my god, you got a banana and a <laughs> Hi, Turnip Boy. I'm still setting up shop here, trying to get on the dark web. I know, spooky, right? Come back later. Oh, hey. Yeah, um, that's avocado. That avocado said they'd give me money if I just stay in a jar. Filled with this green group. It's not too bad. I do feel a little tingly. I don't know how long I'm supposed to be in here, or how I'm getting out. Wait. Have I been kidnapped? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I feel bad for you. Welcome to my new lab. Gelatini gave me a good deal for getting you guys on the dark web on the computer over there. So make sure to buy anything you need from it. Uh, from what Gelatino told me, you'll be using your money to pay for these things. Gelatino says we've got a big type budget. Hey, go check out the dark web and see if, if there is anything that can be of use. Alright. Oh god, there he is. I remember him. <clears throat> Geoffrey. Sixty-nine ratings, nice. Right, so I'm pretty sure I need the C4. And I need him the pickaxe next. Hello, boy turnip, Raphael, now Robo, Robo Raphael, created death, I have bigger gains, learn how to spell name, life is good. Come back later for performance enhancers. Goodbye, boy turnip. I just said the same thing, alright. Listen here, parsnip, I'm the brains of this operation. If you want more advanced weaponry, weaponry, you're going to have to bring me weapons you find on the streets. If you pry weapons from the cold, non-existent hands of your enemies and bring them to me, we can start cooking up some real firepower. Good, now leave me be so I can set it up. Hello, Tomashi. Good of you to stop by. As you know, by now, my brother and I are notorious weapon dealers. We supply for all the catastrophes of life. Wars, raids, heists, you name it, we cover it. I'm currently setting up shop. Come back to see our selection later. Right. Robo Raphael says, keep saying we're making financial gains when we should be making physical ones. I suppose it doesn't matter. More money for us when we totally, absolutely for sure split the end profit. We'll be making the real gains when we find stinky secret stash. We need to get deeper into the bank first. Make sure you're talking to the locals to get the scoop on what's happening and don't forget to go on the dark web if you need anything to boot. Force your way through. I don't trust you. Mm, yeah, so that's the map. C4, yeah. Why like that? <gasps> Mini me, I'm having that inbox. Maybe someday you'll operate elevators. Okay. You got a new hat. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Stop breaking everything we build. <gasps> I got a new hat again. Yay. You have no mail. Oh. Stinky statues to explore the fancy fire, ask Slay Queen. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he just like crashes through. So I'll take it like every time. Money! Every time I come in here, I've just gotta like quickly run through everyone. 
for the three minutes that I'm here. Yeah, I know you're watching us. Why don't you gotta blow the bank doors off? Oh god, oh god, no! Oh wait! Damn it, I forgot! Money! I completely forgot it's all randomised. Who the hell are you? Cease communication with me now, Earthling Vegetable. Okay. I don't know what voice to give you. Oh no. Oh, uh, hybrid. Look, uh, Scram, you're gonna get me in trouble. Where is that stupid melon anyways? Okay, okay. Fine, since you're so nosy, I was going to meet a co-worker of mine a melon slice in one of the vaults, but it seems like he got lost. I have a package that I was supposed to deliver to him. It's a rare artifact and highly illegal. It seems like you get around, Turnip. Could you deliver this for me? Whoa, I found a rare artifact! <laughs> Man, I hear wonders. I like that. I might as well head all the way, blow up that vault door with the C4 and all that dough be ma- I mean ours. That fool stinky won't even know what hit him. Damn. Money, 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 money. <clears throat> hmm, boy turn up. Money back to small company robo roids for upgrades. There's one key of the cap. I might as well take my winnings away and then get the um well actually. Depending if this gives me what I want it to do, full health. Yeah, I'll go through the elevator. Ew, office workers. Those these chumps will never know the adrenaline of a crude crime lifestyle. Maybe we can bring some excitement into their lives. Hey, turnip head. See if there's anything else of value here. Capiche? Money. Oh yeah. Oh my god, since when did I have that? Well, so it seems like one key is like the, the max I can steal, so there's no point in like stealing anymore, I guess. Parsnip, I'm all set, come over here. You know, I want to sleep. Thank you. Listen, Parsnip, we've got means of making a new weapon every now. I'm all set up. Alright, let me put it this way. All you gotta do is bring me some of those crummy weapons you find in the bank and I'll make better ones. Go check out my blueprint blueprint board to see the genius. There we go. Oh, Timishi. Great timing, come here. What? Pot snip. I don't have all day. I need to make sure you go check out my blueprint board. Yeah, I did. What else do you want from us? Look, Turnip Boy, I'm helping out for the funding, but there's a lot of secrets with this bank. As the brains of the operation and having an insightable need to quench my curiosity, I want to try and cover these secrets. I have a feeling that this isn't just a bank. Most of the structure is from the old world. Stinky has just been building onto it. Why is he here? What is his plan? And you to catalog anything that you think is strange? 
Just snap a photo on your phone, a photo spot, and an album app will appear on your phone so you can look up the captures. We'll crack the code to this bank in no time. Um, pickaxe. Oh, so these are like, yeah. Um, right, so he doesn't have anything for us yet. Hello, my friend. I am now your honorary gun dealer. You want to change the loadout? Check out my rubber weapon rack. It's the most beautiful kind of rack there is. <clears throat> well, obviously, you don't have much yet, so there's no point. Where else get going? Money! Now I just want to find out what's like over here. So, how would you feel if I said I did that? Hey, Robber, I see why old Stinky want me to put in this crappy wall. It was to block you. Thanks, Mush. You don't... Thank Mush, you don't have a pickaxe or anything. We sure will be in trouble. Well, I've got a pickaxe now, boy. Money! At least it's easy to make, like, 1k. But then again, I'm assuming every time you die, that, like, takes away. What's over here before I go over there? No idea. Ah, good old classic vandalism. Oh, that convenient photo sign reminds me that we should definitely be cataloging the start of this uprising. Snap a pick. Destroying public property. <laughs> He's so cute to make a uh, statement. <laughs> He's so adorable. Sup, dude. Oh, this I call it destroying public property to make a statement. I'm a trendsetter. Oh, you're a turnip boy, right? Graffiti guy has said a lot of good things about you. I'm his new apprentice trying to learn the ropes, you know. The fine arts around here are really harshing my vibe. Would you help me make uh, additions to these pieces on the walls? I can give you the ultimate graffiti tool to get the job done. Mark up all the paintings in the fire and I'll grade your stuff when you get back. You got it. Psst. Hey. Yeah, you. Listen, I need some help. I gotta finish this statue. This is a big deal. This guy, he thinks for a living. This is my shot at getting the same circles as this guy, but there's a big problem. I need some illegal substances to pull this off. You know, wood. It's the only substance that will best make a plaque for this bad boy. Will you help me? Please help me. There's a shady guy deeper in the bank somewhere that has the stuff. Secure the goods and I'll make it worth your while. Hmm, hmm, yes, yes. Ah, uh ha, -huh, yes. I have a lot of opinions. I really want the statue to portray how much I think cool thoughts on the on this daily. Leave me to funk in peace. All you ever hear Stink talking about these days is now he wants his place to keep getting bigger and bigger. I think he lost his roots. A bank shouldn't need to be this big. I can't complain though. It's great for us contractors. Do you want the thing now? With a red crayon on hand, you can do anything such as graffitiing ancient historical art from the old world. And I think that's pretty based. Let me know when you've tagged all the paints on the foyer. This is not the fire. Boy, turn a big boss up ahead. Be prepared. 
Oh, I'm napping here, Truda. You stop causing trouble, I have to slice you with a turn of fries. Yeehaw! Okay. Bring it on. You asked for it, time to fry up some turnips. Alright, turnip head, you've defeated a god. You can defeat this chump easy. You're a one turnip, aren't you? Mostly because I don't want to do it myself, and my team is doing their team things, important stuff. It takes a crew to run a ship, turnip, you're the cannons. This chump seems a bit frayed around the edges. Go finish the job. The sergeant, yee -haw. Well, that's something good to know is like, oh god, what's he shooting at his freaking pizza? No, no pizza, heavy toast. Oh, Stinky has hired us to keep this here bank in its secret safe. Get him, boys! Yeehaw! What's gonna happen when the timer runs out if I'm still fighting him? Is that like gonna <laughs> put more bosses into the arena? I mean, more enemies, because that'd be a bit of annoyance. Oh god, oh god. Alright, cowboy, I'm giving you one last shot to surrender here, so drop your gun and stick your hands up. Wait, we don't have hands. Never mind, get them, boys. Yee haw! Whew, need a drink. <laughs> No, no, please. No, oh, why is he so sad? Hello, boy turnip. It's performance in times of time. Come here. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave the episode off there because my voice is getting absolutely destroyed from doing all these voices. I will pick this up soon again. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And I'll see you in the next video that I do. This is goodbye for now.